Sure, so just to guide you a little bit, if you recall, when we say, oh, what are the area and perimeter? What we're kind of assuming is the numbers are right, okay? But we know, we don't live in some fantasy land where it's like, yes, I happen to know that's exactly 5.1 meters. Even if we had like laser accuracy measuring things, that'd still be off by a little bit. So this is just getting the actual numbers, but we know it might not be 5.1. We know it might be, I'm not gonna say it, but we know it might be this, or it could be this, right? So when you think of what those are, if you take all your lowest, like what's the lowest the area could be, and what's the greatest the area could be, both of those are not going to be the same as this number. So what's the furthest away? What's the biggest the area could possibly be um, in terms of the difference of these to this? That's what we're trying to get at, okay? If that's not enough, we're gonna unpack the actual question. Well, do you guys want me to do it now? Should we do it now? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do the easy bits first. Okay, can someone, has someone already worked out what our area and perimeter are? Area is 17.34 meters. 17.34 meters squared? Yes. Yep, okay. And a perimeter? 17. Exactly? Yes, yeah, 17 meters. Now, I'm just going to put, by the way, because the original question has some measurements on it, right, and they're given to you to one decimal place, it is reasonable to assume that if all I'm doing is adding them all together, I still have that one decimal place of accuracy. Do you make, does that make sense? Like for example, it was just a coincidence, like it's literally, I just put these numbers, I made these numbers up. It could have been 7.2.1 or 16.9 or whatever. So I really do actually have an extra decimal place, even if the number ends up as a whole number, okay? Right, now, then you actually start to need to get some working here. So in order to get lower and upper limits, you kind of need to know the lower and upper limits of these guys first before you can progress, right? So for example, I've, I've measured it as 5.1, but I could be lower than that. What could it be instead of 5.1? Yeah, maybe. 5.5. Okay, 5 I'm gonna, yeah, 5.05, because I'm to the nearest tenth of a meter, which means half of that is the error on either side. Does that make sense, right? So 5.05 meters, it could actually be that small, or alternatively, it could be, well, if I'm, under vision, it was actually longer than that, what's the longest it could be? 5.15. Because if you remember, for instance, if I, if I looked and it's like, oh, 5.04, I would have rounded this down, yeah? And if this was like 5.16, I would have rounded up. So in either case, I wouldn't have got the 5.1 that I think I have. Uh, in the same way, 3.4, what are my lower and upper bounds gonna be? 3.5? Um, 3.5. And the, the biggest it could be would be 3.4. Five. Cool. So remember, we're thinking about a limit of reading, we're halving that, and we're going up and down. Okay? Cool. That was the tricky bit. These bits just come from using those numbers appropriately, right? So we'll deal with area first. I want to think about what's the smallest the area could possibly be. That means I need the smallest measurements for the lengths, right? So that's going to be this guy here and this guy here. When I multiply those two together, that's the small as the actual area could be. I'm obviously going to get a whole bunch of decimal places. Can someone tell me what the lower is? 16.9. Do you want to give me a few of the decimal places? How many do you actually have? It's four. There are four. Okay, so nine. Is someone still Nine, one, seven, five. Like that? Yeah. Yes? Okay, now, just like I did before, you notice here, I was like, hey, I got to 17 meters exactly, but I actually have more accuracy than that. Here, I notice it's really the reverse. By doing the calculation, I've got 0.9175, but I don't really have that much accuracy, do I, right? I actually should have much less than that, because this is accurate. <laughs> yes, I'm being a pest. Okay. So, this in fact, if we approximate it, I think 16.9 would be good, because we did have one decimal place before, after all. Uh, I will point out a uh, 2F, which is the exercise that I skipped over because it's not dealing with something that I want to address, sort of actually answers this question or tries to answer this question of, well, should it be one decimal place or zero decimal places or two or three? What, what, how far do you go? Okay. Can someone get me an upper one now? 17.875. So let's round that, very good. So there's almost a whole square meter between your lower and upper bounds. That's quite a big margin, all right? Uh, that was area. Can we get some perimeter measurements now? These should be easier. Yeah. 
16, sorry? 16.8. And upper, someone else? 17. 17. Okay, cool. Now, by the way, you might remember, we, we saw this last time, right? There's still an error. There's still like a margin of it where it's like, I'm not really sure. But it's much smaller for pruner than for area. Like we're a whole square meter apart, whereas here it's like less than half a meter. What, what's the reason for that difference? Why is there so much error adding it here versus here? It's like multiplication. Uh, multiplication, right? And multiplication compounds the errors that you got faster. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now the last part, what are the maximum errors for each of them? So when I think about what I actually measured and how far up or down I could be. Okay, let's have a look at this. So for example, what's the difference between what I think it is and the lower limit? What's the, the difference between those two numbers? So we'll Looks like 0 0.44, 0 0.44 square meters. Yeah, okay, on the money, right? So just keep that in your mind. What about when you compare the upper one? Is that going to be a bigger difference or a smaller one? A bigger difference. It's going to be big, right? We actually noticed this before. When you're doing areas, the bigger one will always end up even bigger than the smaller one is smaller. So what is the difference between 17.8 and 0.34? Uh, 0.43 meters. 43? Wait, 0.43 Oh, because I didn't write you, Did you do the, you used the exact one there? Did oh, you? I did 7.77. I rounded it to two decimals. Okay, I see. All right. So, um, again, this sort of, you'd have a valid answer there based on what you've written before. I'm just going to write it based on what I've rounded to because it's sort of consistent with my own answer. Do you round yes. the area to one decimal place? Because you mean this one? Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason why I couldn't. So, 17.3 because, again... It's the same level of accuracy that I have over here. So when you think about this, what's the difference now? This is 0.4 difference, and this is 0.5, isn't it? Half a meter squared. So this is one of the weird things that you might feel a little uncomfortable about. You're like, well, which one is the right one? And the answer is, like, we're all, we've all got slightly different measurements, and that's the whole point of thinking about error in the first place, right? So I'm going to write, based on the numbers that I've got on the board, the maximum error would be half a square meter, because it's the difference between these two, which is bigger than the difference between these two, okay? Obviously, if you've got more decimal places of accuracy, then you'll have a slightly different number, but you'll still have identified the difference between what you think it is and the upper limit of true error. Do we have a maximum error, sorry, maximum error for the perimeter? Yeah, this one's much easier, isn't it? Because this is exactly halfway between those two, okay? And the, yeah, the other way you can think about it is you've got an error of 0.05 four times. Could that happen like every time? Um, which part are you asking about? But like how it's going to be like halfway through. Okay, so for perimeter, for perimeter um, <laughs> yes it is. Because what happens is the more times you add it, right, if you're adding something and adding and adding and adding, you're going to subtract that error. Remember I said, oh, every time I'm measuring a little bit off, I could be... Well, it's five centimeters, isn't it? I could be five centimeters off. To get to the lower measurement, you're going to subtract it four times. I'm going to take away five centimeters for every one of my measurements. When I do the upper one, I'm going to add that same four lots of five centimeters. So I still end up 20 centimeters up or 20 centimeters down. Whereas when I do area, there's multiplication involved. So something different and more complicated is happening. And that's why you're not halfway. Okay.